Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout much of your Friday and temperatures today climbing to 88 degrees. That is a little bit above average. We're down to 85 at this hour, but if you are headed out this evening, again, just keep that water bottle close by. It's uh, pretty humid, especially down toward Temple where it's 87, 86 right now in Colleen. Pretty quiet conditions, again, partly to mostly clear skies on top of us, but there's the dry line and scattered showers and thunderstorms have been firing up to the south and to the west. Right now, the San Angelo area, we're going to watch this complex here throughout the evening. But I don't expect any problems here tonight. It's overnight into tomorrow, especially during the morning hours tomorrow when that will start to move through our area. But tonight, though, quiet conditions. Here's our future cast skies, partly to mostly cloudy with temperatures in the mid 80s. By late tonight, at least by midnight, still dry conditions. Maybe a spotty shower trying to develop, but that's just the moisture moving up from the south, where we will see a little light rain and some showers and thunderstorms out ahead of the dry line. And that's off to the west. I think by midnight, Comanche over toward Brownwood uh, is still way off to the west. But as we go overnight, we're all kind of watching what happens here with that complex of storms. Now, the computer models here over the last couple of days, they're not agreeing on where the showers and thunderstorms are arriving and when they're going to be pushing through the region. So again, everything's still kind of hit and miss with the showers and storms, meaning nothing agrees that we're going to see it. But this is our in-house model, so we're going to kind of stick with this right now. At 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, showers and thunderstorms will start to fire up from the Hillsboro area uh, down through, let's say, even Waco over toward Gatesville and the Pass as we go through the mid morning hours, we're going to see a band of showers and thunderstorms roll through. So here's band number one, kind of a little break in the action, but another band of showers and thunderstorms that could be dropping some hail as well as producing some very strong winds will be moving through. And by lunchtime tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms, especially around Waco, but to the south, Temple toward Colina. And in, any thunderstorm that does develop tomorrow has the possibility of being severe. We're talking the possibility of some larger hail, also some, some stronger winds, over 60 miles per hour. And even by 5 o'clock, that begins to sag a little bit to our south and east, down toward the Brazos Valley. So we're still going to watch it. Again, this is just what our in-house computer model is saying right now. And you notice what happens there late in the day on Saturday and early Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy skies. And again, quiet weather expected on Sunday. So if Sunday would be the pick day. You can even see in the morning hours, pretty quiet weather with temperatures climbing very close to 90 degrees for the high on Sunday. But tomorrow, an enhanced risk of severe weather. That's the orange color and the yellow color. And basically all you need to know doesn't matter what color you're in, is that any shower or thunderstorm that goes up tomorrow has the possibility of being severe. Large hail and damaging wind will be in the high categories, as you can see right there. Flooding in the medium category, just because we've seen so much rain here over the last couple of weeks, it's not going to take much for streets to flood. And to see those low-lying areas get a lot of water in there, and still not going to rule out a tornado or two, but I think our best chance of tornadoes will come tomorrow afternoon, and it'll be in East Texas, heading over toward Louisiana and Arkansas. And as for that rainfall, just wanted to show you our future rainfall as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Look at this, printing out about two, two and a half inches from Waco over toward Colleen. Even Gaysville also getting in on the act. For tonight, though, mostly cloudy. It'll be humid, 71 degrees, with storms approaching by tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms are likely. When it's not wet out there, it's going to be cloudy and breezy, 83 degrees. And again, any storm tomorrow could be severe. So again, keep it here. We're going to keep you posted on everything that does develop in Central Texas. The outlook keeps it high and dry on Sunday. And you'll notice Monday looking pretty good too. Temperatures very close to 90 degrees with our next chance of rain right now on Tuesday. Same story down toward Bryan and College Station. We'll keep an eye to the sky tomorrow. Dry weather on Sunday with our next batch of rain on Tuesday. That is the latest forecast. Back to you.